Hello and well, how are you guys going today? I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, um, let's see if we can get to 10 likes on this video. So this is just going to be a basic tutorial on Ace Designs 107 and it's going to be off this glossy text effect that you can achieve. It's a very simple effect and I'll be teaching you how to do it in roughly 5 minutes. So let's get straight into it. So once you've known this effect, you'll be able to do it off by heart, but really simple. So I'm going to go to File, New, or Control N. I'm going to make the width 1920 and by 8, 1, 1080p, resolution 300. Simple like that, background contents is going to be white, I'm going to press OK. All good. Now we're going to press T to select the character tool and click on our document. We're going to hold Shift and just make whatever word we want to saw it in capitals. I'm going to press Control, Shift, Enter. Press Control, T to do free transform and hold Shift when you're resizing it. Press Control Shift Enter again. Press Control A. Now press V and the second and fifth icon up on that bar. Press Control D. Now we have centered this text. Make sure that it's on bold. It's a more effective effect when your text is on bold. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to um, put this document on full size of the screen. So we're going to press Control Zero. That zooms us in a bit more. Now we're going to get our pen tool and we're just going to make sure it's on path, make a new layer, and then we can just click and make a selection. If you don't know how to use a pen tool, there's heaps of tutorials out on YouTube and I might be doing a tutorial by myself also. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the pen tool in my hand and do right click and do make selection. Press the feather radius to zero, press OK, and then go to and then you can press um, command backspace to fill it in with your foreground color or press command control i to fill in with your background color or you can either get your bucket tool and just fill it in with whatever you color you want but what i want to do is i'm going to fill it in with a gradient so i've made a gradient here one of the defaults made sure it's on linear whatever type gradient you want and then you're just gonna click, hold shift, and drag that down. And what it does is made this. Now I'm just gonna press Control D to deselect that. I'm gonna click on this layer, go right click, and do rasterize type. Make sure that you've done all your effects on the text before you rasterize it. And then go back to your path layer, go right click, and do create clipping mask. Press Control T. I'm gonna see that. See, I don't like the positioning of the gradient, so I'm gonna redo my gradient. I'm gonna edit the gradient. Two, 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 gray. Right, that's nice. Now I'm gonna write the mask. Right, sweet. Now once you have your gradient in there properly, or just standard color, press Control D, and now we're just going to change your opacity down to like 43% or 30%. This does it makes it darker, or you could just simply leave it 100%. Depends what you're really going for. So I'm just going to keep it like that. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the line of that. So how I've done that is I've double clicked the path layer and go to outer glow, and I'm going to make it white because I want this color to be white. Make the spread 64, 60, around 50%, and do the size around that opacity 100%. Just match it until you get that. Do the spread 100% and then you can change the size around. Now you can do different colors. You don't have to just do white. You can do yellow, you can do brown, you can do blue even. It's quite nice actually. It's okay and you can just resize that up a bit. Like that and press OK and there you go you have that really cool gloss effect with that nice little stripe in the middle so if you really do like this tutorial make sure to like like that smack that like button I do heaps of graphics design tutorials 
and gaming videos. So if you would like to see my other videos, just go check out my channel and it will be great if you could subscribe. So sorry about that guys. Activated my thing yet, but yeah, um, I really hope that you did enjoy this video guys and thank you for watching. See ya.